time to talk a little bit about uh, <coughs> the install that we had with the Airhead composting toilet. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how we uh, got to where we got and why we installed the way we installed. We did talk with Airhead uh, several times and they gave us a lot of good information on how to do it right to not have any smell or any, uh, any back pressure leading to some smell in the rig. <clears throat> I will say this, follow the directions. Uh, this video can help and it works for us, um, but we did follow the directions. We also, we also contacted Airhead directly. So definitely contact them if you're confused about anything, follow the directions that come with the Airhead toilet. Um, so one of the things that we did is we originally wanted to mount to the flue uh, that goes out the top and when we would have done that, we would have mounted in the middle of the rig and then followed the existing pipes up and out the top. Now, one issue we had there was the fact that the fan would have been mounted midway through, which would have shoved air in, but maybe caught some angles of the flue and not been completely seamless on the way out. Uh, we may have been able to add a stronger fan and that would have gotten rid of any sort of issue that we did have. But instead of doing that, we, we decided to mount it in the bottom. Now, for mounting going out of the bottom or the side, you definitely want it to be the fan that comes with it to be as close to the outside of the rig as possible. Because if you're blowing air through pipes, you might get some back pressure if you uh, are blowing into, um, for example, we have six inches in the bottom of our rig. If we're blowing into the bottom there, <clears throat> there might be some draft that comes up and creates a little cyclone and back pressure as well, which would cause the fan to not uh, shove as much air out. So what we did was we had a pipe going all the way down and uh, we, we put a little louver at the bottom that allowed us to get the air and the fan to run straight out of the rig, which is nice. So mounting in the bottom, definitely make sure that it's not recessed or in an outcove um, just because you don't want to have that back pressure issue. Um, so you can take the hoses apart, definitely use silicone on any of the hoses. It's HDPE, high density polyethylene, and you want to use hoses, or you want to use silicone, not, not anything that would be um, permanent, like super glue or anything like that. Um, you just want to have a seamless airflow. And if you use silicone, it should fill all the gaps, all the little holes, all the little cracks, anything like that. So the uh, vent fan can suck through perfectly. Another thing is, if you have a vent fan in your roof, like we have two Dometic vent fans, fantastic uh, fans that are in the roof, and they are very powerful. Now, <clears throat> if you notice that whenever you're sucking out instead of in, that the there is a smell and you're starting to smell anything, uh, we didn't have this issue. Uh, we have one that sucks out, one that sucks in at the same time. We always have windows open, so there's a there's not a whole lot of uh, vacuum going on that would cause the smell to enter the rig. But if you do notice that there's a smell there, what you could do to avoid that is you can put a hose, not just the exit hose, but an inlet hose, and you can have another hole going through the bottom, going through the side, wherever you need the hole to be, uh, that pulls air from the outside straight through the toilet and then pushes air back to the outside. That would cause, um, that, would, that would allow it to not have any issue with the vent fans causing pressure to um, bring some of the, uh, the toilet air into your rig. So if you're having any concerns with getting an airhead composting toilet, um, you should definitely give them a call. I would say composting is just the way to go. Uh, it's awesome. I mean, it's, if you do it right, no smell. You can literally pick up your your uh, your poo uh, several weeks later and put it on the put it in your compost. Um, a lot of people have problems with their black water tanks and such like that. Anyway, I know uh, I know people that have a lot of issues with their black water getting clogged, having smells. I mean, you don't want that just sloshing around underneath your rig. So um, definitely definitely get with the get with the composting and jump on the bandwagon. Anyway. Uh, if you like this video, I appreciate you watching it. Have a good day.